at the present moment, we are almost at the tail end of the first shaking of Kenya. There is a second shaking that uh, we keep seeing in the spirit. And this second shaking, it may involve, uh, I don't like to, to sound like a bearer of bad news, but uh, our brothers and sisters in Kenya, they need to pray for their leaders. They need to do what? To pray for their leaders. Because uh, in this other vision that I saw, we're kneeling around the Kenyan flag. You know the Kenyan flag? <clears throat> there was a force which we could not see, which was reducing the flag until it is halfway, until it is half staff. Are we clear? We're crying until we're sleeping on our stomachs. There were, there were many intercessors, not just a few intercessors, but we were all sleeping around you know, on our stomachs, kneeling and crying before God, for God to preserve the people who are critical in there. There are people who are needed, who are not supposed to, to vacate this life, especially at such a time as this one, because so many things are not yet balanced there. The, the situation is still precarious. Are we clear, my brothers and sisters? The situation is still what? Precarious. So that which has been communicated by other intercessors, the Spirit of God is saying we must not despise the message. There is a threat. There are two leaders whose lives are threatened. I will put it in that way. So all the prominent leaders there, be they government ministers, people in the presidents, senior people in the, in the defense forces, or wherever you have got very senior leaders, People who are senior leaders in politics, uh, in all the political science, no matter how many they are, they need to be prayed for. Hallelujah. They need to be prayed for because if this thing that we have been seeing in the vision takes place, it will cause so much imbalance in that nation and so much instability in that nation. Are we clear, my brothers and sisters? So as intercessors, we need to pray for, 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 for the leaders not to die, for God to extend their lives, for God to want to extend their lives. Hallelujah. Especially people who are very critical then. People who are very what? Critical. They mu we must pray for God to grant them long life. Be it the president, the deputy president, the cabinet ministers, the chief cabinet secretary, or the prime cabinet secretary, all the cabinet secretaries, the leaders in the military, the leaders in, in political organizations, like uh, the former prime minister, Raila Odinga, and many other people. We must just pray for everyone who is prominent in Kenya. Hallelujah. So that uh, the balance which is in that nation, because pre peace in that nation is resting on a, on, on a precarious foundation. It's resting on, on a precarious platform, if I may put it that way. Think the situation is not yet fully stable. Are we clear, my brothers and sisters? So we must plead with God for what? For long life. So we were crying, we were many of us. Uh, uh, you know, we had formed a prayer circle around the Kenyan flag. <laughs> so when we pray, the flag was rising up. When we stopped praying, the flag was coming down supernatural. So the, the Spirit of God is saying, we must watch and pray. We must watch and pray for the next nine months. It doesn't mean after nine months we must stop praying. But for the next nine months to 12 months, we must watch and pray and pray for every person who is prominent, including governors. They need to be prayed for. Including what? Governors. They need to be what? To be prayed for, including what governors, they need to be what to be prayed for. I I I have restrained this message for the past three weeks, but the Holy Spirit has been showing me the same thing over and over again. 